Hey guys, so iOS 26 developer beta one has been out for about a week and a half as to the filming of this video. And the next question would be, when can we expect beta two for iOS 26? So today we're gonna to talk about when we can expect iOS 26 at developer beta two, and what are some of the new features and changes and improvements we can expect Apple to bring to the iPhone with the next beta. Now, obviously the big story here is the new liquid glass design. Now, some users love it, some hate it. Personally, after using the software a little over a week now, I see why Apple chose this new design. I really love it in terms of animations and how it looks. Once the software is completely released and polished, I think users will love the new redesign. Now, right now, obviously, it still needs a lot of work. It is beta one. So with that, obviously, control center looks like a mess. It has been heavily criticized but keep in mind guys this is beta one this is only intended for devices that are testing the software this is not public release software so apple will 100 percent address the new design and moving forward with beta 2 beta 3 and so on however if you have issues of reading your notifications with the new liquid glass or you hate the way your control center look you can actually go ahead and change that right now by going into settings heading over into accessibilities, going under display and text size, and enabling this right here, which is the reduced transparency. And this will give you a nicer look for your notifications and your control center until Apple officially addresses the notification issues and of course, the translucency issues within the betas for iOS 26. Again, this is beta software. So with beta two, expect a lot of refinements and changes, which I'll be covering obviously here on the channel. Now, something else we can expect Apple to improve is hopefully, battery life for those of you running the beta you already know that battery life is terrible on all devices and this is a side effect of betas obviously again this is not official released software it is only for devices under development and as you can see right here my battery life is at 20 percent so i'm living with the struggle just like you are if you install this on your primary device so hopefully battery life should be and will be addressed with ios 26 developer beta 2. Now, something else I do want to talk about because I feel like I have to talk about this. A lot of you guys are asking, is my iPhone getting too hot? And the answer to that is no, but it is running a little warmer than I expected, okay? So I haven't received any on-screen prompts that my iPhone is overheating or anything like that, but I noticed that it is a little warmer to the touch than with official software, for example, like running iOS 18.5. Uh, you know, my iPhone was cool most of the time. And right now with iOS 26 beta, it looks like my iPhone is constantly a little warmer than expected. But again, I haven't gotten on-screen prompts of the iPhone overheating or anything like that. Just battery drain like crazy and a little warmer than I thought it would be running the first beta. But other than that, I wanna talk about some of the bugs and issues. Now, Apple did address a critical bug recently Last Friday the 13th, Apple re-released iOS 26 Beta 1 for the iPhone 15 and 16 models as some users were having issues where after installing iOS 26, their iPhones will not reboot and then it will show an on-screen battery icon and then they would have to manually install the software in order to get their iPhones to work again. And this is the type of bug that I try to explain every single time I get the question, should I install the latest beta on my primary device? Well, keep in mind that these types of bugs that could break your device could happen and if you don't back up your data and you're using a personal device and a primary device then you're at risk of losing your data because again this is beta software so expect improvements in terms of bugs and issues overall battery now i've had a few crashes here and there and a few issues with third-party apps for example banking apps for example some of them sometimes don't want to launch or log in with face id properly or work at all i've also had some issues with third-party apps like youtube crashing and even causing the springboard to crash so these are things that are to be expected developers need to update their apps apple also needs to update the software so the next beta beta 2 obviously will be packed with bug fixes improvements perhaps even additional new features and changes for customizing and things like that so with that being said when can we expect the second beta well last year with ios 18 apple released the second beta for ios 18 two weeks after releasing the first initial beta. So this year, iOS 26, the first beta was released on June 9th at WWDC. So two weeks after that will be June 23rd. So on June 23rd, expect iOS 26 
developer beta 2. Now, public beta testers, Apple has already confirmed that the public beta will be available in the month of July. So developers, the next beta, most likely on the 23rd and next Monday, public beta, most likely towards the beginning of mid of July. So there you guys have it. Obviously, a lot that needs to be worked on, including the new redesign. But I think Apple has pulled off the right design for the iPhone and all their products moving forward. Once the official software is complete, I think most users will love the new liquid glass. Thank you for watching this quick update, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.